can Critical Role save Candela Obscura? Come save me! Candela Obscura is clearly a major passion project for the Critical Role cast, with tons of time and effort spent on the series. From the elaborate costuming to the amazing set design, it's a really great looking show, and the care is obviously there. However, so far, all that care and effort hasn't really led to Candela Obscura finding its footing with fans. The Candela Obscura live event became the first ever Critical Role live event, at least in our memory, to not sell out, despite the relatively small venue they chose. And the viewership of Candela Obscura episodes has basically dropped to a fraction of what a main campaign episode gets, with streams often averaging just a few thousand viewers, and YouTube VODs barely climbing over 100,000 views. So what can Critical Role do to save Candela and help grow its audience? Let's take a look at some of the possible solutions. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Now before we dive into this, let's be clear that the issue isn't the quality of the series. Candela Obscura has featured some amazing performances. Just look at the second chapter for example, Brennan Lee Mulligan and Luis Carrazzo in particular just knocked it out of the park. And overall, incredible set design and costuming, it basically looks and feels like something totally different, very moody, very uh, you know period heavy, it's, it's a great show. They have the atmosphere nailed. It's just a matter of finding the right audience and getting it in front of that right audience. So really, how can they make that happen? Well, let's start by giving Candela Obscura its own release day. Having Candela take up a slot from the main campaign causes several problems. Fans who are used to sitting down for a fun, humorous episode of their main fantasy campaign instead get this moody, episodic, eldritch horror actual play then that basically takes the place of one of their favorite things, and that can lead to some resentment among the critters. Giving Candela its own separate release day helps to give the show its own identity, which makes it easier for new viewers to find and follow it. Imagine being a new viewer, you watch an episode of Candela, and then for the next three to four weeks, you get a fantasy actual play at the same time slot instead. It's a little bit confusing for new viewers and somewhat obnoxious for existing fans, so getting its own release day would be a good first step. Then, Critical Role can make it a weekly release. It's incredibly hard to build momentum and viewership when an entire month passes between episodes. Let's face it, it's hard to remember plot points in Candela Obscura and get back into the storyline and the characters when 30 days have passed since the last time an episode aired. A weekly release on a new day could really help draw in new viewers, which is really what Critical Role needs, since Eldritch Horror is kind of a niche genre to begin with, and one that doesn't really have much overlap with the classical fantasy tropes that Critical Role fans have come to know and love over the years. Critical Role needs to expand their fan base if Candela is going to survive, and a weekly episode on a new day is a key step to making that happen. But how do you do that without running the cast ragged? And the answer is, of course, make the episode shorter. Candela Obscura often runs over five hours, which is just too much for a new actual play, even one backed by the media empire that is Critical Role. That's too much to connect with new viewers. It's just impossible to get into. It's a massive time commitment, and five or five and a half hours, or some shows even run up to close to six hours. It's just too much time for new viewers to invest into an actual play. But if you break that up into four hour or hour and a half episodes, it's kind of like what Dimension 20 does for their shows. Suddenly you have much more digestible content that doesn't require massive time commitments. And you can fill four monthly episodes in with the same amount of recording. So with this, the cast doesn't need to run themselves ragged recording multiple new Candela shows every month. They can just do some editing and break it into for much more bite-sized shows so new viewers and existing fans can keep up easier and follow along. I don't know about you, but it's much easier for us to find 60 or 90 minutes in our weekly schedule to set aside than five and a half hours once a month. So with all that said, would these changes actually guarantee success for Candela Obscura? We can't say for sure. Eldritch Horror is still clearly a niche within the actual play scene, and Critical Role fans seem to love their more traditional fantasy stuff but it would give the show a better chance to really find its own audience, at least in our opinion, to do so without putting more burden on the Critical Role cast. Yes, 
Obviously, some editing would need to be done if they break things up into hour and hour and a half episodes. But, you know, th that's just a cost that would have to come with trying to save the show. And hey, with Beacon, you know, their new streaming platform, they're clearly looking for some more content to fill that out. So Weekly Candela Obscura at a much shorter length could be exactly what the Doctor ordered. Basically, the next month is going to be kind of telling to see if Candela Obscura returns, or if the cast decides that 12 months is, you know, that, and that the show has just run its course, and maybe it'll be time for something new, or maybe a major revamp. But either way, let us know what you think about the proposed changes to fix these issues facing Candela Obscura, and why not hit those like and subscribe buttons while you're at it, and we'll see you next time.